What's good, everybody? It's your boy, the Super Triple JET here, and it looks like we finally got an official look at the map to some extent. I don't know how much we're going to see because this is only two minutes. So, hopefully, for the best. And they said that we're going to see some gameplay. So, maybe later today we might see more. So, let's just react to the first thing they show us, okay? And we're gonna go through all of this. This ain't gonna be. This ain't gonna be like just. I won't go through everything, every pause, everything I see that's interesting. So, all right. First thing we already start off. We brought that whole the jumping animation or the going in the car animation is still in the game, which is cool. I actually really did enjoy it. So you know, I'm glad that's not gone. So let's continue on this. All right. I never got to talk about this real quick. Uh, a lot of people have already, and I'm behind on it. So we have a HUD. And we have a map and okay so it looks like a lot of the logos are changed obviously but, you know I, I kind of thought they're gonna keep the same logos for you know like image as design and friendly fire but they didn't it's fine I don't really care it doesn't affect me the mini map you know obviously it's not finished yet. you can't even see roads on this so I'm, I'm, everyone's already criticizing the map and it's not even finished and then but this one's interesting the whole HUD menu where we get the health and then we get it looks like it could be shield uh, I don't know what it is, and I don't know. And I I don't think it's gonna be stamina either. Because I believe that's what that white bar is down here. But I like it. I like the HUD. Thing. I like it. Okay, oh, that's another thing I didn't talk. Uh, no one really talked about that much. There's actually uh, plants and trees and stuff now, which is cool. Uh, it's obviously it's obviously in the desert, so we're gonna see a lot of it, but. It's cool, I'm glad. Uh, it's, it's a nice, fresh take on it, you know? Alright. This right here. Ah, crap. Alright, well, let's go back a little bit. See, there's a ramp right here. Now, obviously, Saints Row is known for the, having the ramps in the map. That's that's obvious. Uh, I hope it's not this obvious in the in the you know, free roam. I hope it's not this obvious. I hope like there's some that are like, in the map. Like in the environment that looks um that just looks natural but you just see a ramp opportunity that that would be nice all right so leather and lace is back so you want to make your character skimpy you know there's your option that's cool uh i like the area right here it's not a lot obviously but you know it looks nice you know all right hold up i just saw something uh, there is a, a hooker right there. I don't know how far Saints Row will go with that because I don't think they're going to do what GTA does where you can just fuck prostitutes. But I hope it's not like Saints Row the Third where there's straight up gimps and hookers just walking around normally and stuff. But, alright, this right here is a positive. It shows that the NPCs are more alive now you know there's a whole fire truck police and everything you know an accident obviously happened and i hope that uh the npcs are going to be more alive similar to saints row 2 because saints row 3 and 4 there were some that were like scripted to some extent that you do see like a car accident in saints row the third but i was like whatever but this looks impressive here's another thing i do notice there is a guy in a fursuit um it's going to be similar to Saints Row the 3rd NPC to some extent, where there's going to be something wild, it looks like. Like, it's going to be multiple NPCs wearing fursuits. I mean, I'm not a big fan of that idea, but it's whatever, I guess. Um, But just, I hope the NPCs are good, and that's all that matters. Uh, Next is, there's a castle right here. I, I, I don't know what the hell that's all about. Today's gonna be different. Okay. Now we got a nice look at the map. It looks cool. This looks like the more rundown area. And it looks cool for what we saw. This building right here, I heard is gonna be the tallest building in the game. It's like it's like a boot. Um but you know we'll see. But this this is more of a rundown area and it looks cool. I really like the I really like how it looks. By the way, um there was an interview, I think it was two days ago or three, where they said that the Saints hideout is going to be at a church in 3rd Street. 
So, you know, don't think that some people say there's going to be on a coffee shop or whatever. No, it's it's a, back in the, it's keeping it keeping it classic, you know. Um this looks nice. And there's water here. So, I'm going to say this. I was wrong when I said there was going to be no boats. I was wrong. I just assumed there wasn't because, you know, it, it, I thought it was going to be mostly desert, but I was wrong. And I heard there are going to be boats and they already confirmed a couple boats in the game. So, that was my bad. That's my bad. But it looks nice. I like it. It looks very, very nice. Um, you know, the more Latino type area. You can see this person's working out in the middle of the road. Alright, this looks like the more, um, how you could say, the more, I want to say suburban, the big city type areas. There we go. And if you see right here, that's Friendly Fire. And obviously you saw, uh, you know Friendly Fire is back. Obviously, because the boss is wearing a friendly fire shirt. But yeah, that's friendly fire. The logo's still there. And speaking about the map, I'm not a I'm not mad about it because I know it's not done because you can't even see roads. So you know I know it's not done yet. So calm down, people we are the people are just like, no, the map looks terrible. Um that logo right here looks like something related to the wingsuit. Um I don't know how far they're gonna go with it. And speaking about the wingsuit, uh also in that same interview. It said that you could use the wingsuit when you're like on top of a vehicle also. So it's not just something like parachutes where it's, you know, it spawns in the air. You know, it looks like you could do it around more grounded areas too. So that's something to be excited for too. I was in more of the water. And speaking of that, here's another thing. The boss is wearing purple. I know a lot of people were complaining about the Saints were not wearing purple. I heard from a few people saying that the Saints were in a goal uh be, they're gonna turn into purple later on in the story and oh that's it this is the one i was talking about um it looks nice but i heard that we're gonna see some gameplay so if this video is uploaded without the gameplay in it then it never came out but the map looks nice so far i'm very excited about it uh, it's better than I thought, and, you know, uh, but I'm very excited about it. So, tell me in the comments down below, how y'all feel about the map so far? You think it's cool? You think it's like a new type of, kind of map that you're kind of excited about? I really like to know, tell me in the comments down below. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe. I'm out. Deuces.